if you feel any resentment in your relationship right now, you got to look at human design because human design is going to help you hack your relationship. Not only so there's not any more resentment, but so that you can leverage some of those things that seem like problems because they're not actually problems. It's the way that you're looking at them. That's the problem. Now, what I'm about to show you is literally dripping with information, literally too much for you to absorb. Now, I'm going to go through a couple things, but make sure you stick around to the end because I'm going to give my number one relationship hack to avoid resentment. Great. So now all you got to do to look into this is just go to my website, drakeymarco.com. You're going to see these fields. You're going to put in your information and then you're going to hit view your chart. It's going to pop out one of these. Boom. And then you go create a new relationship chart. And this is where you put your partner's information. View the chart. And this is called a composite. It's the combination of both of your guys' charts. If you're overwhelmed by all that, that's totally fine. I'm about to make it real simple. So you're over here on the left. Your partner's on the right. All these colored in areas, that's where it's much easier for you to be yourself. These white areas, much harder. Meaning that you're going to absorb energy from your partner in these white centers. So, for instance, you would be absorbing information from this center right here, which this is the sacral. The sacral is the center of creative sexual energy. This is generative life force. And for somebody with a defined sacral, they're going to experience life in a very different way than somebody with an undefined sacral. This person is anchored into their life by this. I'm either creating energy for it or not creating energy for it. I'm either satisfied in life or I'm frustrated in life. In this relationship, this person is going to pick up whether this person is satisfied or whether they're frustrated. And without the awareness of doing that, this person could become very confused or very dependent on this person feeling good all the time. Remember how I said what you're experiencing is probably not a problem. It's how you're viewing the problem. This person over here is thinking, why can't this person keep up? And this person over here is thinking, why can't this person feel how fucking tired I am? And it's because they're not built that way. They're built different than you. And if you measure everybody by the same measuring stick, you're going to be disappointed. Especially if you want everyone or think everyone should be just like you. Let me show you another example in here. This time the tables are gonna be turned. You're gonna be the fucking annoying one now. So you have the defined root pressure, which this is like that part of you that gets like, okay, I'm ready to go. If the waiter is late on the check, I'm gonna like walk up to the host and give my credit card to the host. It's the let's get the fuck going. That's root pressure. That's the pressure to do stuff. That's stress. And this person's gonna feel theirs. You're gonna feel your root pressure. And just by way of standing next to your partner, you're going to project that root pressure into their undefined root pressure. That means that this person is typically going to feel when you wanna leave. It may not be time for them to leave, but because they have this undefined, same as because you have that one undefined, there's going to be a sort of dominance that the defined center has over the undefined center. Now that's not always the case, but that's very often the dynamic. So in this relationship, you could have this quote unquote problem of you always doing the things that this person wants to do because you don't want them to be very frustrated and you want them to be satisfied. It may not actually satisfy you. It may even frustrate you, but you'll do it because it satisfies them. And then a situation where this person with this undefined route might always feel under pressure. They might always be rushing through things because your pressure over here. Now, this may seem like a problem, but like I said, how you're viewing it is the problem. With the awareness that human design can bring to a situation like this, there's a lot of communication that can happen to ease some of that projection and to ease some of the energy that you're taking on, especially from a partner that you're romantic with. A lot of people think resentment is about, oh, you did this wrong and like having to hold something against somebody else. But really the worst resentment is like not feeling accepted for who you actually are. That's one of the biggest slights. It's not I resent you because you did all these things to me. It's I resent you because you don't accept me and love me for who the fuck I am. And if you're treating their sacral like it's a problem, you're going to have a problem. And if they're treating your root pressure like it's a problem, you're going to have a problem. None of us have problems. 
We all just have dynamics that are dysfunctional that we don't know how to make functional. So as promised, here's my number one life hack for avoiding resentment in relationships. You ready? Come here. Sleep in your own bed. Just sleep in your own bed. See, this chart in the middle represents what your guys' energy is like when you puzzle piece and you're together. When you're in each other's energetic fields, this is what you get. And if you guys sleep in the same bed every single night, this is the person, right? This is the circuitry that is going to be getting manifested. Now, this isn't a bad situation, but like I said, when you don't feel like someone sees you or accepts you for who you are, that's where a lot of resentment comes from. And if this fucking guy right here is always, always present, is especially when you're trying to get rest and rejuvenate yourself, quick road to resentment, my friends. So if you sleep in the same bed as your partner, start experimenting with sleeping in different beds. It doesn't mean that you don't love them. It And if they take it personally, like, I get it, but they're going to have to move past that because in order for you to be yourself, you have to create a dynamic where you can actually feel yourself and you're not constantly exposing yourself, especially in your most vulnerable time to another human being. In fact, sleeping in separate beds might be one of the ways to even just solve your resentment outright, purely because a lot of people probably resent each other because they're just stealing rest from each other. Every time your partner moves when you're sleeping or coughs or sneezes and it wakes you up, it's like, oh, why are you stealing my sleep, you fuck? Okay, great. I know that was a lot of information, but guys, that's literally just scratching the surface. Now, if you want to go from having a whatever relationship to the love of my life, I feel so seen by you, I do composite readings and I can do them with both of you present so that both of you get some perspective because chances are y'all probably have your heads up your own asses and I can just like pull it out right there for you. And I'm super objective. I'm, I'm an objective part third party. OK, so just be mindful, though, because I'll call you on your bullshit, too. And of course, if you want information on your human design, like what does all this stuff mean? Come down here, buy this report, it's only 20 bucks. Thanks for tuning in with me. Make sure you follow for all of the best human design life hacks.